Hi, I'm Vanya with the Orange County Library System, and today we are going to be dyeing fabric with natural materials, specifically avocados. Now this program is part of the NEA Big Read. The NEA Big Read is a National Endowment of the Arts program designed to broaden our understanding of our world, our communities, and ourself through sharing a good book. OCLS is one of 84 not-for-profit organizations chosen uh, for, to receive a grant to host an NEA project from September 2020 through July 2021. NEA presents NEA Big Read in partnership with Arts Midwest. Now, let's go ahead and get ready to dye. Let's talk about what you need. First thing you're going to need is some kind of fabric to dye. I'm going to be using a cotton dish towel but you can use any materials you would like. Cotton, linen, natural botanical materials work great, but you can also dye things like wool and silk. You're also going to need some sort of filtered water. Distilled or filtered will make sure that any minerals are out of the water that might dampen your dye and make your dye project less successful. Now you're gonna need avocados. Now the avocado that you choose is important to the dye process. It should be ripe, and if you have a choice, you want to choose a darker color rather than a lighter color. Darker color means that there's more dye in the avocado. You're also going to need a wooden spoon. It's important that it's wood or aluminum because you want to be able to stir the dye pot without reacting to the dyes or changing them, which steel and other metals can do. You're going to want an aluminum stock pot with a lid, and of course you're going to want some kind of heating element. Your stove at home works great. So let's get dying. You're going to take your avocado, you're going to cut it, and remove any flesh. Once you've done that, you'll be able to take the stone out and keep the skins. Both can be used for dyeing. It's really important that you scrape or wash all of the flesh from the skins and the stone to make sure that you get the best dye possible. You're going to need between seven and ten avocados for a really good dye pot. Now you're going to use that for each pound and a half of fabric that you have and you can always just weigh those on a kitchen scale. So let's get started. We've already got our avocado pits and skins cleaned and in the pot and we're going to go ahead and add our filtered water. So we're going to pour our filtered or distilled water into our pot that already has our cleaned pits and skins. You want enough water so that your fabric or other item that you're dyeing can move freely in the pot. If it's too little water, you'll end up with spots from the folds that happen because there's not enough movement. So always make sure you add enough water, but not so much that your dye is diluted. All right. That's a gallon and about seven pits, so we're all good to go. All right, we've got our water and our avocados in the pot ready to go. At this point, if you're working with a plant-based fabric like cotton or linen, you can add it right to the pot. If you're working with something like wool or silk that may be damaged by heat, you'll want to wait until your dye bath is complete and the water is cool before adding those materials. Now I have cotton, so I'm going to add it right to the pot before I even get started. I'm going to unfold it and go ahead and just submerge it fully in the water. Now, keep in mind that the water's not on right now, so I'm not in danger of burning myself. Be careful always when you use the stove. All right, now we've got that in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Avocados create really beautiful shades, anywhere from a dusky pink to an amber to a bright pink, depending on the type of avocado you use, as well as the water and other factors. Now this is a natural process, so experimentation is key to get the color you want. Once we've placed everything in the pot, we're ready to turn it on. You do not want to boil avocados. If you do, you're going to highlight shades of brown and you'll lose any pink that you might get from your avocado dye. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on low. And then I'm just going to leave it for an hour or two, periodically checking to see how my dye is coming. Once it reaches the shade that I'd like, I can actually take out all of the skins and the seeds, and then I'll have the dye bath that's perfect for my project. Once you've simmered for an hour or two, you're ready to let your item soak overnight. You'll want to take off your pot from the heat 
If it's reached the color that you'd like, make sure you take out any skins and stones, and then just periodically stir to make sure that you don't get any uneven sections in your dyed fabric. Our dye bath has been resting overnight. It's nice and cool, and I'm ready to check on the color. So let's check it out. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a rich amber color, and it's just what I wanted for my kitchen. Now, this pan is cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and just reach my hand in. Oh, look at that. That is an excellent color, really rich. It's a natural color. I'm gonna be able to use this in my kitchen. It's really gonna accentuate and take me from that boring white towel to something that I've dyed with scraps from my kitchen. Thank you for joining us for dyeing with natural materials. And I hope that you have fun experimenting with your avocado scraps and let us know how they turn out. We'd love to see them. Okay.